here today to give you a quick tour and overview of my printable summer activity planner. This actually just started as um, something I was putting together for myself to plan our, our summer and summer activities for my family and sort of evolved into <laughs> this complete binder. So um, I hope you find it helpful. It's been really great as I've been trying to be more intentional and purposeful about um, setting goals and planning for, um, for our summer for our family. So here it is. This is, it starts with a printable title page. You can either put um, as your first page or you can even put it on the front of your binder if you like. There's a spot for your family's name. And then um, we have an at a glance calendar page, which this might be my favorite page in the whole thing. It's really great to be able to just sketch out your big plans. If you're going on vacation, you have kids doing summer camp, you're going away for a weekend. Um, you can just keep everything together all in one page. But then um, I also have bigger individual monthly calendar pages, starting with May. For those of you crazy people who have school letting out in May, we don't let out until the middle of June. But if your summer starts in May, um, you lucky duck you. You can plan starting in May. Um, anyway, each of these months, um, I, I did not put numbers in here, so you can use this every year. You could. Um, print it off each year just write in the days of the month and you can um, use this however you would like to um, May June July and August and then I also have a more detailed weekly planner you could either print one of these each week if you wanted to or you could print it one time and laminate it and just write on it with a dry erase marker but this is a place to be a little bit more detailed sit down on Sunday night plan out your week. You have a spot for each day of the week here, a spot for errands, a to-do list, any other notes, um, remember, you know, things to remember you can put down there. Pretty basic weekly planning sheet, but I think this is really helpful for me, um, especially when I'm trying to plan out my week, then I can really get more of a detailed um, plan written down here on a weekly planner sheet. Then there's a goal planner. I think this, um, I'm excited to sit down and do this with my kids, even though they're younger, um, and to do this myself. I think it's a really important part of having a purposeful um, and planned summer is just setting some goals. They're really simple. Somewhere to go. Um, and no, it's not like I wanna go to Hawaii. It's like I would really like to go to this particular museum that's only a couple hours away or maybe to a really um, to a specific park that's in town um, see if your kids have some place that they really want to go you might not know what they um, what they're thinking they want to do something to get better at something to learn more about these could be academic if you wanted to relate them to something they need to work on in school or it could be something strictly for fun maybe they just want to learn more about birds and so you're gonna go bird watching or something like that um, a new book to read this could be um, something as a family you do together Re a read aloud book or it could be for each member of your family has an individual book they want to do and also a way I can help others um, so there's a goal planner I'm really excited about this page. I think this is gonna be the biggest game changer for our summer. And I've planned this out specifically for my family. You could take this idea and change around the days, however you wanna work it. But each day has um, a very specific theme, but um, without being too structured. So this is, um, for example, Lazy Day Monday. I know we're not gonna get out of the house um, very quickly on Monday. This is also when I do my grocery shopping. So Monday is just gonna be a day to um, go grocery shopping and play around the house. Try It Tuesday, this is a day where we're gonna try a new craft or a new recipe or visit a new park. We have a whole bunch of different parks with playgrounds in our area and um, so we'll be visiting lots of those on Tuesdays. Bookworm Wednesday, our, our library has a fabulous um, summer reading program. So Wednesday is our day to visit the library, stock up on new books. Even if we can't make it to the library on Wednesday, we'll still uh, make a point of, of reading some books together, maybe going and reading outside or doing a book-related craft or watching a, um, reading a book and then watching a book movie or TV show, something like that. Thursday is our day to take a trip. This is not necessarily gonna be um, really involved, far away day trips. It could just be um, a state park, packing a picnic and going to a state park or visiting our local kids science museum, things like that. Fun day Friday is our day um, 
typically is our, our movie night as a family. So we'll probably continue that through the summer or, or other fun family things we can do. Go bowling, um, do an outdoor movie, uh, go to the pool, something like that. Um, this page basically is, I'm going to print this and, and laminate it so I can fill in our specific plans for each day of the week with a dry erase marker at the beginning of each week, erase it, and then do it the next week. We also have a whole bunch of different checklists that you can use however you would like to. Here's a chore list. You could print one of these out, a new one every week. If you have different chores or if they're going to stay the same, just print one, put it on your refrigerator for the summer. Here's a list of parks to visit. I said we have a whole bunch of parks, um, like 40 parks within a 15 minute drive of our house. So we're going to pick maybe 10 or 15 that we want to visit this year and write them down. We can check them off as we go. Um, this is a list you can sit down with your kids and come up with ideas for random acts of kindness, ways that you can um, show love to your neighbors and your community. And um, I think it's going to be fun to pick out one or two of these to do each week together. Um, here's a book list to keep track of reading, either as you read it or books you'd like to read and check them off as you go. Um, this is a, a bucket list. might be fun to sit down and do this as a family at the beginning of the summer and just come up with a, a list of things that you want to do together this summer. Check them off as you go. And finally, um, I'm also excited to have this resource here. This is a hundred different activities for summer. There are 100 things here. Most of them are free or very inexpensive things you can just do at your house, around the house. There are some other ones that maybe you'd have to go somewhere like go to a museum or go to a baseball game, something like that. But a lot of these, we can just come to these if we're bored and come up with an idea like, um, write a poem, um, make your own pizza, make a sock puppet to put on a show, decorate your bike and have a bike parade in the neighborhood, um, learn origami, uh, have play water relay games, um, set up a lemonade stand, fly a kite, go fruit picking, lots of different fun summer activities here which I think is going to be a really great resource. And that's that. So um, I'm excited to just, uh, to just be more intentional this summer with my kids and planning out um, just some goals and some things that we want to do together as a family. And this has been a really great resource so far. I'm excited to see how it sh helps to really shape our summer. You can um, purchase this in my Etsy shop. I'll put a link so you can get right to it and um, print it out yourself and get planning your summer. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a fabulous summer.